Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on exporting content from Google Scholar using EndNote. This tutorial requires that you have EndNote reference management software installed on your computer. For a free alternate to EndNote, check out our tutorial on using Zotero. Let's get started. First, you will need to prepare EndNote for RIS export. To do this, open EndNote. Once EndNote is open, from the Edit menu, hover over Output Styles, and select Open Style Manager. In the list of EndNote styles that appears, check the box next to RefMan RAS Export. And close the Style Manager. We are now ready to download Google Scholar items to EndNote. To do this, open a web browser and navigate to Google Scholar. You can get there by going to scholar.google.com. Enter a term into the search box and click the magnifying glass or hit enter on your keyboard. Google Scholar will return results based on your search criteria. The results will be sorted based on relevance, but you may also sort by date by clicking on a year under the Anytime menu on the left side of your screen, or by clicking Sort by Date. Click the Cite link under an item that you wish to add to EndNote. In the window that opens, click the Import into EndNote link. Select Open with EndNote in the menu that appears and click OK. Now you are ready to export from EndNote as an RIS file. In EndNote, click All References in the side pane. Select the reference or references that you would like to export. Keep in mind that multiple references can be added to the same RIS file. To select multiple references, hold Ctrl or Command on a Mac and click on your files. From the File menu, click Export. In the window that appears, title your file and pick a location to save. Select Text Only as your file type and select RefMan RIS Export as your output style. Make sure Export Selected References is checked and click Save. Your file will be saved as a text document. This is fine for RIS import into the USAID Resources Management Portal. If you are interested in importing your file to the USAID Resources Management Portal, please follow the instructions in the tutorial on Import Portal. Please follow the instructions in the tutorial on importing RIS into the Resources Management Portal. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.